Welcome back to Fury. We are in party and we just killed the scale. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, think, I, think the, I think the remote play is acting up. I'm losing connection. <laughs> no. No, not again, please. Oh, God. This has just been a train wreck. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, last time we had, uh, uh, we had to redo the entire part. This time, let, let's hope we don't have to. I mean, let me check. Yes, the, I do the, have the audio stuff. recording footage going. Okay, good. I was about the question, I was going to be like, do you have the audio done? Because I don't want to go to, like, I am uh, not going to take a second. 29 I am minutes <laughs> of this video takes. <laughs> oh. Meanwhile, we're walking like, across the dusty desert. Oh yeah, we are. Dusty, dusty, dusty. And we're getting, we're getting all these unique camera angles. And for once in like this entire playthrough, you I'm actually content with how the game looks and how it's running. Yeah. yeah, because I mean, look at all those shades of orange. Oh, it all the, works. No, but the fact of the matter is, it a it all works. You know what? I was saying that, and then I'm looking at the thing in the background, and the entire thing's ruined. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then what? somebody just goes, "Okay, I'm gonna crop this image. Okay, that thing's gone. How do you like it now?" Oh, it would be lovely. <laughs> no, oh, if we ever get a fancy stuff out of six people. <laughs> unfortunately, that's the site of our next arena. Yeah, which is also a lot smaller than any you know, of the previous arenas. But outside of that, but outside of that arena, this looks great. The setting actually goes really well with the. Uh, with the character and everything, and it actually works. It wasn't like the last two areas where I had a lot of annoyance with them. Where it didn't, it didn't really, it conflicted. It didn't contrast. Oh God, area three conflicted hard. <laughs> yeah. It gets worse, honestly. That was more on a, that was more on a technical level, not an actual like design level. I mean, they're not having any. It share doesn't. I don't think it gets worse than that technically. Angles. Like at a technical level, it doesn't really get that bad. Okay, this is one of my <laughs> this is one of my favorite moments where he just keeps doing this. He's just gonna keep Wait moving across that pipe. <laughs> Wait a minute. So, okay, pick a spot. <laughs> <laughs> You're just getting tired of him teleporting around. <laughs> Honestly, I would too if I was acting up again. I can tell. Yeah. Yeah, I can see him like slow walking. Okay, so there's this one little spot on that dome that is bugging the mess out of me. <laughs> okay, look, if you're gonna stand on the pipe, at least stand up right. So <laughs> that one, yeah, that one just looks like the model is conflicting with like the hitbox. Oh, <laughs> exactly. that actually gave me flashbacks to Sonic 06 when you like went up to the top of the roof, like where it's angled two different directions. Sonic can't decide whether he wants to tilt left or tilt right. Kim, gotta go fast. <laughs> Yeah, gotta go fast. Oh, that was a weird... That was a weird... I'm gonna have to go back and look at the raw footage on that later, because that looked really weird on the layering. I gotta say, this might be the weakest boss of the game. Not in terms of, like, mechanics, just thematics. It's... Oh, the... the ma I'm, I'm, I was actually... We'll, we'll get to him when he shows up, but I'd say he is like, the he doesn't weakest even, like, boss. I'm gonna say this, like, this is... Oh, sorry. It's that kid, I'm just kidding. <laughs> dude, dude, if it was a small child... <laughs> what? We are what we fight for. Uh, though, okay, yeah, my Discord is deciding to act up again, so I'm just gonna explain some things we have here. To the part. No. Oh, I thought you guys were actually not talking for... I thought you guys actually disconnected. I, I thought you guys were just not talking. No! Like, dude, I, was, I was still laughing about the joke <laughs> itself. But, but I yeah, what I what I was gonna say the, is that, e like, in the concept art, like, most of the other enemies, like, the scale, the line, all those other guys, they have, like, little details on them. This guy, he's just, he's just a barbarian-looking dude. With yeah, a sword and, and a shield. Think, and I think... In terms of fight. reasons to fight you, his is the weakest. He's just there to be. He's just there to he's be there. He's like the noble crusade guy, and I think in this context, it just doesn't work. Also, oh, so he's a, so he's a paladin. Yeah. yeah. Also, by the way, check this out. I'm doing ping pong. Oh, <laughs> uh, so this is what you meant? Yeah, that's what I was asking about. <laughs> <laughs> like in like in your ordering of time showing. Stop that. <laughs> Like, every other boss, I mean, most other bosses either 
can't reason at all or have very clear reasons of why they want to fight you. This thing's just like, I fight because I fight, you know? I think that's very weak. Like, it's I'm just here. It's like we're playing a video game. Okay. No, but it's like... Except with the other ones, like it seems lie. that they actually have an excuse. Besides, I mean, you know, like, just the, besides, you know, just, just the contract. I mean, the first guy is like, I'm gonna kill you because I enjoy it, pretty much. That's kind of the thing I get from this dude's just like, I'm gonna fight you because that's my job. The uh, second one, I'm gonna fight you because I'm insane. The, the third one, uh, I want I want my I want my time travel back. Give it. Yeah, the third guy's that's like, I want my time travel back. The fourth one, uh, story reasons. And <laughs> remote play. <laughs> oh, there goes our own play. Oh, God, there's remote play. Alright, let's let him talk. Okay, let's so on. at the very least, the game picked up in the, in the, in the OSC in the, in the department. I actually like this one. The, uh, song I'm playing here. It's actually really catchy and really bumpy. Now, does it fit the character? Not really. No. And that's, I think, I think, I think that all just kind of adds to my disconnect with this guy. He's really got no reason to be here. Besides, it's a video game. Honest? He's kind of the, yeah. He's kind of the noble. Wow, you still, wow that was he's, a weird joke. Uh, also, but he has the best, um, Shakeout animation, though I'd say. <laughs> he's holding your sword, and then you just shake the sword, sword right back out of his hand. No, I'm talking about the one where he grapples you. If oh. Do you get grappled by him? Oh yeah, fight? that. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah I do show that off. Yeah, you do see that, but at, like, at, you see it at the final phase where something also, like something slightly mood whip flashy happens at, at the same time. Does it involve his hair or, or, or his cape? No, it involves something involving his entire body. I'm not going to say exactly what, because I'm going to wait for you to see. But for now, so f <laughs> no, you don't, you don't, you don't. You don't have to. You really don't. I prefer if you don't. <laughs> No, no, our commentary isn't gonna be that bad. <laughs> no, it, it isn't gonna, it isn't. We have some form of decency. Also, this is the point where most of the melee strikes start to hurt. Yeah, like, yeah, he did two points of damage with just one hit. That. They're shaving off more than one health bar at this point. Yeah. Ooh, nice. That was pretty good. Do you, do you like, do you like fluctuate between various like stages of greed, depending on I do, so like, I think in this specific playthrough I did try and do some parts of it where I was just trying to oh, see, no, he's red now. where I was just trying to see, okay, I'm gonna, like, okay, this is where he's pretty weak, I'm gonna see if I can actually use this, like, charge, you know charge what? slash strategy. I think I know, I think I know how to fit this guy oh. in the context of, oh god. <laughs> I think I know where to fit this guy in the context of motives. Like you're not, you're, you're probably not going to be slapped on that. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> like, I'm going to slap you. No, I'm going to shoot you. It also does like, damage to him. I just like the fact that he just bitch slapped you twice. He's going to just hold you down. That actually took out two bars of health. Or I two noticed. pieces. <laughs> also, I hate that attack the most. So, so, sir, you, you said you were complaining about his context, right? Yeah, his context, like, he's fighting for his son, and he's fighting for, like, I mean, that, that, I mean, I will, I'll say this right now, even though this, like, though, actually, though, I, I will say this, even though it's technically kind of a spoiler for after the fight, like, if, like, he just, like, if he was supposed to care for his son and all that, why didn't, why did he take this job? But here's the thing. What if, what if he's delusional? Mm -hmm. what, if, what if, in all honesty, this is just some delusional fantasy, and that child is more like a kidnapped child? I don't think so. That would be an interesting thing, but I that would be interesting, but it oh, it isn't really explored very also, much. Beautiful Perry. Get us away! So much. Also, this is where he's. Kind of just loses the this is where he loses the shield and becomes a straight up gladiator. Which also, which for me, which basically, basically, when I saw this the first time, I'm like, okay, I can shoot him now, great. <laughs> <laughs> he isn't gonna reflect my bullets back at me, and that's a giant laser. <laughs> oh, he was ready for that. <laughs> you can't win, 
Yeah, but like, I, I think I think that's because I'm too used to like the I'm fighting for my family. I'm fighting for X cause besides just yeah. the job. I mean, is fighting, you know, fighting for fighting more for my family. Is that that uh theme's been done to death? Like, yeah. that's a, so that's it a feels thing. cliche. Isn't that, like the scale is any better because he's fighting just for revenge, but he's kind of delusional so, uh, at that point. What's this kid? Ooh, that the artwork for this kid is actually pretty nifty. So yeah, it I, is. I, I'm less paying attention to the fight now because we got a bit of time to look up uh, actual look up yeah. characters. What is this guy called? He is called the the hand. Yeah, okay, let's see. And he's gonna hand me two slaps. <laughs> Actually, won't this switch the phase? That's enough damage to switch the phase. That's what you were talking about. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and explain something real quick. Real quick. Yes, he is a knight. Yes, he is fighting to protect his son, so it's certain right on that. But he's actually more annoyed at the stranger, because the stranger has nothing to fight for. Like, why are you trying to escape in the first place? What are you trying to fight for in the first place? Like, why? Yeah. Why? The, the, like, he's trying to find why. Of it, from this entire, this entire thing, the stranger's more or less doing this stranger. just to do it. You have nothing well, actually, I think the yeah. stranger's more of you than the actual, yeah, the stranger. You're only, yeah, you're only doing this just to see it again. Yeah. Which is kind of the motive that you have. It's yeah, also kind of explored. Can this melee phase he's also, you can't. <laughs> he's also the guy who's in prison. You can't sit in the one. He's called the hand. He is the hand of justice. Yeah, that is fair. Wow, this guy doesn't even have a lot on him to begin with. I expect the TV trips to give me a bit more, a bit more things to work with. Thank you, TV trips. And it's... Oh, yeah. that's gonna oh, be enough. Oh. <laughs> he, went, he went from... Oh, you think you're <laughs> Wait, did you both text me? No. Yeah. And now I have to redo that phase. That is technically a KO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm sorry. You pretty much tripped at the... With the, with the 99th mile then, my man. <laughs> I but, am um, sorry for that. I think... I think the hand is one of. I think the hand is just the weakest boss in this game. I mean, he That's does have some pretty good strategy, but I I do consider him. You kind of he's he's relying a lot less on tech. On what? No. He's relying a lot less on you know, laser sword non notwithstanding. He's relying a lot less on tech and a lot more on pure skill. Yeah. yeah he's, he's, he's I mean, he's I. He's more of the parry skill guy. And like, he's more of the fair. parry chain guy, which for me, easy win. Easy win, yeah. even though I technically got yeah. KO'd. Yeah, I was about to say, like, <laughs> explain your KO. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, remote play. And <laughs> <laughs> the easy excuse, remote play. But also, during these see. parries, and I think it's like uh, only during scripted thing. parries. You do not receive health when parrying. No, because it's an entire parry chain, and that's his... I guess it's because it, you're in, in an act of desperation. Yeah, it's like a desperation yeah. attack, so you uh, can't really and parry he's it. Dead. Yeah, he's huh, dead now, though. Huh, his theme is called What We Fight For. De and now he's gonna try his literal desperation attack. <laughs> and I'm just gonna move fast. <laughs> and he's dead. And the, and the, the remote play. The remote play just, just won't let you live. He gets rid of a few frames, but that's about it. Ooh, whiplash. It got, it got rid of more than a few frames. It, it destroyed the sound quality. <laughs> what about his son? What? And then what? Here, what, what child? But you've got to move. Which on. you know. I mean, this is a. Finn. No. You know what? That serves with the fact that everything he was just if doing was in his head. He doesn't have a child, it's just a figment of his imagination. Now, as to why we saw his child, fuck off the video game. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, yeah, that, like, going up to that house costs Are a script. Are you lost? <laughs> Where am I going? That is the auto walk. <laughs> What's going What's on? Going on? Uh, uh, did, did you get a coffee or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just saw, I just found this hilarious. Okay. Oh, so you just let this sit there for. Oh, yeah, there you go. So, <laughs> we gotta get so, what, there we go. <laughs> so, what's the point of the house? It's to activate a specific piece of dialogue. Like, if he really cared for his kid, why did he get the this job in the first place? Love. The, 
I mean, it's it's really kind of a philosophical question. Yeah. Well, oh, there's the loading screen finally. <laughs> yeah, I managed to not cut it out completely. Also, this this boss up here is called the Song, and you can hear by the actual somewhat lyrics. Like you can actually somewhat hear lyrics in this music. Well, I've already got TV shows, so I might as well look at it to get a basic idea of this person. Just trying to clean up her mess. Just remember, <laughs> messing with your head. Don't listen to her. Do you no. cut in no. the? What's up, Sarah? No. Just, just don't, don't, don't say anything. <laughs> no, I was gonna. You cut out. Uh, no, that's later. Never mind. I was gonna ask if you died, and then we asked. It, we were mentioning it earlier. You I mean, I. Over. I did. I just died on the last fight. Don't bring that up so soon. Dude, also, you could, have, you could have you could have been double punched. You could have cut out to the point the where it starts is, the phase the over. The voice is not too terribly happy with this person. It, are they? No, he is not. Also, I'm sorry that there's a skip thing on the uh, screen that's kind of bugging you, but I I mean I had to re-record this entire cutscene on my second playthrough because remote play was deciding to go. You know what? No, I don't like cutscenes. Look at what I'm offering. This can be your home. I'll take care of but you. Doesn't seem like a, she doesn't seem like a bad person. She's willing to give us a place to stay. I'll tell you. Yeah, I mean, it, it actually seems pretty reasonable. You will tell me yours. There is so much to enjoy here. Yeah, I mean, look at that fountain. Yeah. Article effects. <laughs> <laughs> Assuming this so is the, yeah, I uh, just suck. This is this is where we could basically choose an ending. I, yes. I decided. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay here oh, because that fountain is amazing. What a wise decision you've made. Okay, this is. We're a, not so different. I was gonna ask if you do get the ending here. There's kindness in you. Also, My that lip sync, that like lip syncing is actually kind of throwing me off a bit, though. It's not as bad as Nino Kuni's lip sync. Oh, I know it's not the worst, but I think it's actually the worst in this game. But uh, it like the the mouth moves so widely, I, like I, if for lack of a better word, like this hair is a mind of its own. <laughs> it's a literal cloud, not the guy with that giant sword. And thank you guys for watching the Fury playthrough. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, I did that on purpose. Also, gonna light up the armor before I move because this is where I technically remembered it. Yeah, no, not again. That is a nice fountain. <laughs> it really is. I mean, look at those pipes. You're walking back to the door, though. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice closet. What do you like here? Though I am moving over here because they're, the, the voice is just like, kind of like hiding over here. Tempting. Oh. Ah, look at that. Just stay here. Close our eyes. Forget everything. And he says, like, yeah, I yeah. This is offered us a place to save. He doesn't seem are. that bad. This is just a fancy prison. That then again, now that I think about it, this is I probably a. Pl this, is, this is her ploy to get us to basically I forget about our entire objective and just, you know, yeah. settle for a second best. <coughs> yeah, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and go onto the platform and actually activate the boss fight. Yeah. Well, actually, activate a cut, activate a cutscene first Goodbye, if remote play would stop messing up. <laughs> How dare you and turn down all yeah, events. remote play is just really deciding to not like cutscenes here. Thank God, thank God, there's, thank God, there's subtitles. <laughs> exactly. You have brought this upon yourself, stranger. Also, like I, I forgot, I didn't mention this earlier, but a joke that has been made with this character is that she's a Mercy clone. <laughs> It's a joke that's been swimming around the internet, like just after seeing the character design. And uh, no, oh, this, no, oh, this is not God. Mercy. Oh God, thank God. I honestly think this is my favorite fight in the game. Oh God, thank God the arena is bigger than the little, than the little elevator. I thought we were gonna yeah, fight. yeah. Like each arena has different sizes and stuff. Like, like each arena is unique, along with the boss. 
Yeah, I, I, was was gonna say, I, was, I, was, I like the fact that, you know, they're utilizing the fact that she can fly and she's hopping out of the arena every now and then. Yeah, also, something that I'm not mentioning, something that I'm not showing here, you can't actually hit her with melee attacks unless you have, like, a really specific opening. <laughs> like, like, you stun her while she's still on the land so that you can actually run up to her and hit her. Ooh, that's a pretty bad. And there's no melee phase. For the first oh, few parts, anyway. Look at that. Yeah, for the first. Really melee you. Yeah, for the first few parts, at least. Well, no, I mean, she has two guns. She can melee you. She can pistol with your butt. Hell. <laughs> 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 and that's a giant lizard. <laughs> oh, <don't do> <laughs> yeah, see, like you, that. <laughs> you can't actually. Parry you can the parry that, like, like show. how I did it. On the last phase, I actually did parry that and managed yeah, to get a perfect I parry. I, I did, I Every year coming towards you, it always counts as a perfect parry. No, it doesn't always count as a perfect parry because I have had times where it wasn't a perfect parry. Uh, the most of the times I've got it, I've perfect parried it. Um, well, congratulations on that. I just walked right back to a bullet. The, the perfect parry time window is probably. It's, it's pretty short. Easy enough, but yeah, I mean, mo nice yeah. Like, no, get back to the ground. <laughs> what more could you possibly ask of me? You know, to leave. <laughs> to give me an easier boss fight? Well, no, let's ramp Oh, up. actually, get a, give me a harder boss fight. She looks like the boss fight that, uh, you know, looks like the perfect boat. The perfect, you know, the perfect balance of sliding skill and difficulty. It, yeah, it I, is a pretty good balance of all of those, money. but I still do prefer the no, different... No, no, no. I, like, I know that this isn't technically part of the game, I still prefer the DLC fight. I think in vanilla, this is my favorite fight of the game. Yeah, I, I, would, like I would say, fight, this, isn't, this isn't my favorite of the fights, but it's, it's, a, like, it's, a, it's in my top it's three. It's an amazing fight. It's in my top three. Like what I would Last replay again. Last phase kind of drags a little bit. Yeah, that's the only real real complaint because I do. It's I mean, like line part two. Yeah, I, I was gonna I, like I was about to say I get flashbacks to the line and I hate it. Because it has similar mechanics, they just work in kind of a backwards function. Like how she, I like how she psyched you out of that last one. <laughs> yeah, see him. Like she's running at me and I was actually not doing perfect parries. And I keep throwing the bird up and throwing her back down. <laughs> just, I think, I think it's also my favorite one of those perfect parry animations. You slam her into the floor. Yeah, no, you're you're staying on the ground. Also, I think she has increased health in most of these phases to make up for the fact that it's really hard. There's no melee. Stances. There's no melee stance. Also, I just shot her. I completely ignored the shockwaves. <laughs> And right now I'm assuming her wings don't work because she's actually trying to attack us on the ground. <laughs> Must be because you slammed her into the floor. How about, the, how, about the, how many times did you throw her on the ground? <laughs> I think about five. <laughs> Make that six. <laughs> She has two guns, she can pistol with people, but she's doing she's pistol with <laughs> No, that's what she's trying to do. Also, now she has satellite lasers. She sounds like a mom trying to tell a child that that means. Yeah, also, you can hey, fall off the edge. <laughs> you can fall off the edge, and again. <laughs> Honestly, that is my least favorite part of this entire boss fight. Just because of, just because of how many bullets there are that are just coming at you, how hard they are to both repel or parry or dodge, whatever. Smacked. <laughs> <laughs> Smacked with a giant bullet. Oh, oh, what? You're not. Oh, is that, oh, that's I think it only happens in melee stances. I think in every other stance, in, in range stances, that actually is a bottomless pit. Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. It isn't a bottomless pit in Get melee phases. That's seven now. Leave the poor, leave the poor soccer mom alone. <laughs> Leave the soccer poor mom with a gun. <laughs> soccer mom angel with two crossbows. Dude, 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 have you ever followed the soccer mom? Those ladies are scary. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, um, oh, it sounds like you have a story to tell. I don't know. Me, for the 
for the six plus years that I've worked in retail and still am working in retail, like, I have a lot of stories. Actually, I, I actually didn't remember whether I hit her with that attack or not. And now it's just the melee phase, and there's there isn't really much melee, to... Melee my ass. She, she <laughs> turned that into a curse off for a second. There. there isn't really much you can really talk about now with the melee phase. Yeah. This is the sixth boss. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's also, the melee phase. It's just, what? Also... Uh, you were fighting your bullets back. <laughs> yes, I was. Mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> you did it twice, and the third time she just like, Oh wait, stop that. You saying my bullets work on me too? With, no, they don't. She is not happy with you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you you turned down peace. Now now she got to try and kill us before she, before we kill her. And now this is the final phase. And remote remote play made me walk off the edge. <laughs> it made me walk off the edge. <laughs> Well, she doesn't stop shooting bullets, but you have to take out towers. Like, take like she keeps shooting, and the, when you take out one tower, she adds a laser. Second tower, shockwave. Third tower, satellite beam. Fourth tower, uh, it's a completely different phase. <laughs> Fourth tower, uh, completely changed. <laughs> also, I did this completely backwards, so spoiler warning: I'm gonna get KO'd. I'm getting. Uh, I'm, I'm getting either. I honestly, you. I feel like you should have just brought them all to red. In bullet phase, what do they regenerate? I don't remember. They don't regenerate. Okay. Like they don't mm -hmm. respawn at all. Uh, and you're gone. Do you get hit by a satellite beam? I think I do. I did that or the laser. About, like, three squares. Oh wait, actually no, no I don't. And she can't be hurt by direct by projectiles anymore. I dashed right past her, and that's what yeah. killed me. Yeah, yeah, you, you ate it at that poor song. She was not happy with it. Now I have to do all that again. I'm gonna change the strategy. I'm gonna go for the one on top first. Because that's how I usually play it. You're also gonna notice that I get KO'd a lot more in parts at, at past two. Yeah, she really, she really I don't blame you. She really doesn't sound like a bad person, she's just frustrated at you. I mean, I mean, how frustrated would you be after the line? <laughs> I mean, point, but... <laughs> <laughs> and remote, remote play is being stupid again. I mean, I, I mean, we've already seen this part of the fight, so I, I don't think it really matters too much. No, but... It's... No, but you're still not doing the strategy that Sura had in mind, where you bring them all down to red, and no, then... No, but... Oh, God. But he... <laughs> <laughs> but he was also thinking... He was also thinking that the towers... Like, if you don't kill them all at once, they come back. Yeah. No, I didn't know that. I was thinking they just regenerate over time. They don't. Okay. This is, it's been a long time since I fought the song. And you say it's your favorite fight. No, but I... I, I love it, though. Out of all the fights I ever did in the game, I love this fight this the most because it's the perfect well blend of everything you've learned. So far. So far. <sighs> but... You can let her live. We'll, we'll, we'll her live. But good things part. must come to an end. <laughs> let her live. I can't. This is a, this is a scripted cutscene. <laughs> this is a scripted cutscene. <laughs> she did nothing wrong. Let her live. Yeah. The hair decides. <laughs> <laughs> it goes crazy. Uh, so like normal. Wait a minute. He didn't actually hit her no. he hit the device, did he? Hmm. Yeah. I did not expect that. Yeah, either way, you, this I is notable. He hesitated. After the last he hesitated. Time. Yeah. You, of all people. Yeah. Why would you ever hesitate? Oh, there's gonna have to be no hesitation in next part, but we'll save that when we we'll get there. Yeah, that's gonna be saved for the next part, because that one has one of the hardest bosses, and 
Also, some, also some little Easter eggs, so look forward to that in the next episode. So, thanks for watching.